First up for you is Pick Lumen. This free AI image generation tool that doesn't get mentioned enough is a great alternative to other tools like Midjourney. It lets you create imagery from scratch using text, and it also lets you edit existing photos. You can create in various styles, including concept art, logo design, create assets for games, posters and flyers, and many others. It lets you easily remove backgrounds, upscale images, and colorize black and white images. At the top of their homepage, to use PicLumen, click on Generate for Free. Just like most online AI tools, you will need to sign up to use it. For inspiration on their community page, you'll see images made by other users. Some will actually show you the prompt that was used to create the image, and some will not. To begin creating your own images, in the left pane, click on Create. Here at the top in the box that says Describe Your Image, this is where you'll enter your text for your prompt. To the right of that, in Prompt Helper, you can select from various styles. You can upload an image on your computer to be used in your prompt. To the right of Prompt Helper is Auto Translate. PicLumen at this time only supports English prompts, so if you're using a non-English prompt, Auto Translate will convert it to English. Prompt Enhance will improve the quality of your prompt. The next thing you'll want to do is choose the aspect ratio for your image. Let's go with a 916. You can also choose the images per batch. For free, it'll create up to two images at once. So let's go with two. When you're done playing with various settings, click on the purple generate button here in the upper right. You'll now see your images being generated. When it's done, click on an image. Here to the right, you can download each individual image to your computer. You can add it to your collection in PicLumen. You can copy the link, share it with others, copy all the information for this image, and you can delete it. For free, PicLumen offers 10 free lumens per day. One lumen equals one image. Those will be generated at a fast speed. After using the 10 free lumens, you'll get unlimited generations, but at a slower speed they call relax mode. They also offer plans with more lumens and features starting at $10 per month. These next two I'll mention briefly for you to try out on your own are both from this cool site called Riverside.fm. They offer online tools for high quality video recording and editing, all of which are available for free. They have tools to help with captions and subtitles, video compression, a podcast editor, and many others. The first one I've been using quite a bit lately is their Audio Transcriber. Powered by their free AI Audio Transcriber to create transcriptions, you just upload your file and wait for it to complete. It can transcribe in more than 100 languages. They claim accuracy of 99%. For me personally, accuracy has been 100%. And when it's done transcribing, you get a downloadable SRT file to use for captions on the various platforms. The other tool from Riverside is called Magic Clips. It's for those of you that are into creating vertical videos like those on TikTok, Instagram Reels, and YouTube Shorts. After you upload your video, Magic Clips AI automatically finds the best parts of your video, cuts them out, and transforms them into short form vertical videos for you that can be used on social media. The only downside to this is that on the free plan is that they'll slap their branded watermark on all video outputs. Otherwise, to get rid of the watermark and get additional features, plans on Riverside start at $24 per month. Semantic Scholar is a 100% free AI-powered academic search engine that can search through hundreds of millions of scholarly papers, reading TLDR summaries, accessing citation metrics, building reading libraries, creating alerts, and using AI-assisted tools. You put your query into the box. In this example, I'll have it look for papers about long-term memory in LLM agents. Hit enter on your keyboard after entering your query, or click on search. For what it's doing, it's really fast and great for doing deep research. Here at the top, you can search by fields of study, date range, has PDF, author, and journals and conferences. After you click into one of the papers, you go into the Semantic Scholar page that will give you all of the information you would need, including figures, citations, and it even has references. Many of the top AI tools you would have to pay for use Semantic Scholar as a backbone for their AI. Here you can go directly to the source without having to pay for it, and as I said earlier, it's 100% free. 
I'll mention this briefly. Semantic Scholar has another AI tool for researching papers called AI2 Paper Finder. Other than the results page looking different, for each paper it gives a relevant score. You'll see the top result says, perfectly relevant. You even have various filters here on the right, including relevance. After clicking on any of the papers, it goes directly to the Semantic Scholar page for that paper. AI2 Paper Finder is also 100% free. Just like Picklumen, Dreamina is another AI art generator and editor platform for creating images using text prompts and also from existing images. It's also quite easy to use. It lets you create in various styles for whatever purpose, including character design, fashion and beauty, create game assets, marketing, and many others. What I like about it is that it supports multi-layer editing, just like Photoshop and many other non-AI photo editors. Dreamina is from the folks at CapCut, the makers of the CapCut video editor, so you'll need to sign up to use it. At the very top, you'll see an image generator, video generator, and an AI avatar generator. The last one's not too impressive at this time, so we'll focus on the other two, which are quite good. You can see examples for inspiration below. Let's go back to the top. To begin creating an image, click on Generate in Image Generator. Enter your prompt. Select the dimension below. Then click on Generate. If you'd like any of the images that were generated, you can download them to your computer. You'll also find tools here on the right to edit the images as well. To create a video, click on Generate in Video Generator. You can create a video by uploading an image on your computer or by entering text. I'll keep this prompt very simple. For duration, your choices are 5 seconds and 10 seconds. Select the aspect ratio. We'll leave it at 16.9. And when you're done with that, click on Generate. And I want you to notice here that when we created those images, that was only two credits. To generate a 10 second video, it will use 100 credits. Now if you do a five second video, that will be 50 credits. So we'll go with that. Skipping ahead, it took about 10 minutes for this video to generate. Here's the result. For free, you get 120 credits to use every day. Unused credits do not carry over to the next day. To get additional credits and features, plans on Dreamina start at $15 per month. If you're someone that's curious about AI projects in development from Google, check out the Google Apps Experiments page. Right now there are more than 30 AI experiments to play around with. Most of these will be free for you to try out with exceptions. For example, their AI filmmaking tool Flow, as part of their Google AI Pro plan, is around $20 per month after a one month free trial. Thank you for watching. If this video was useful for you, make sure to give it a thumbs up and share it with others. If you know of an AI tool we should check out, let us know about it in the comments. And if you're new to our channel, subscribe and smash that bell to not miss out on our latest AI tools videos and other tech related stuff.